and strength. Skill. Mental toughness. And Supreme fitness. Skill. And Mental strategy. toughness. Supreme fitness. It's also Skill. one of the world's healthiest and sports. Strategy. And great for teaching Supreme. young people it's also about one of the world's and movement. In squash, and great we embrace change. We embrace innovation. In squash, we embrace change. In court technology and broadcasting, we embrace bringing spectators and viewers closer to the heart of the action. Bringing spectators and viewers closer to the heart of the action. Bringing spectators and viewers closer to the heart of the action. Bringing spectators and viewers closer to the heart of the action. Bringing spectators and viewers closer to the heart of the action. In 2004, and I played various national and state championships. 2004, squash and is I an individual sport played amongst two people. Championship. It's the best of five format. Squash is an individual sport eleven points amongst two people in a game. It's the best of five. The player who wins format. three games first squash. wins a match. It's a very fast-paced sport, and you get an average of five to six seconds rest between a point. So it's it's a very fast-paced sport. It's a very strenuous sport and it also keeps you very fit and very active. I would urge all young players to definitely try their hand out at this sport because it, it really keeps you fit. It has a very big mental toughness aspect of the sport that's there which helps you in pressure situations even in life. It helps you build hand-eye coordination, your mobility skills, your, your, think, your perception skills and your actions, basically how you're gonna handle certain situations, these, this game really helps in all of that because you're playing with the opponent on the same part of the court. It's not like tennis where you're playing on the opposite ends. You're playing in the same space. So it's a lot of mental games, it's a lot of planning and, and it's a very, very fun sport. So our head federation or the Indian federation is known as the Squash Racket Federation of India. It governs all the squashing activities, the rankings, the tournaments, etc. in India. Our state bodies are respectively the state names, so our Kerala body is called the Kerala Squash Racket Association. 
I would definitely request everyone to try their hand out in squash because it's really really fun and you can play it at whatever age. Thank you. Nin explains the rules of squash. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponents. Squash is played indoors on a court with these measurements for singles and is slightly wider for doubles. This is the bottom line, commonly referred to as the tin, and the ball cannot be hit below this line. The lines of the court indicate the area of play, and any ball leaving this area is considered to be out. Players play with rackets and different grades of ball depending on their ability. The game starts with the player serving the ball. To serve, a player must have at least one foot in the service box. The ball must be hit between the service line and the outline, and the ball must land in the opposite corner for a serve to be legal. In squash, you have to play the ball by hitting it onto the front wall. The ball may hit any of the walls, but you are only allowed to let the ball bounce on the floor once. If you let the ball bounce on the floor twice, you lose a point. The idea of the game is to make it difficult or impossible for your opponent to play a good shot back, or to force an error out of your opponent. You also win a point if your opponent hits the ball out of the area of play. Once you play a shot, you must get out of the way of the ball and get out of the way of your opponent. If you don't get out of the way, the opponent is awarded a point. This is known as a stroke. If you try to get out of the way but couldn't, this is known as a let and the point is replayed again. A common strategy of squash is to dominate the T-zone. This is the intersection of lines in the middle of the court. When playing a ball, it's advantageous to get yourself to the T as it gives you the best chance of playing the next shot. Squash players are extremely agile and elite players can cover all four corners of the court with minimal movement. Once you win a point, you get the next serve and the whole process begins again. This is known as a rally. A game is won when a player scores 11 points and is 2 points clear of the opponent. If the scores are 10-10 for example, they keep playing until one person is 2 points clear. Squash is usually played to the best of 5 games. Whoever wins 3 games first, wins. Well, Shabini is on fire here. She's steamrolling her way through this first game, just as she did against El Tayeb yesterday. Hi, Namaskaram. My name is Shafi. I'm a coach of Squash Academy. I'm going to go to this place. I'm going to go to this place. Equal point is going to go to this place. I'm going to go to this place. I'm going to go to this place. Nalai curi kita, nama kita berikan. Aduh boleh, ini kotel kurang sih line segala ke undur. Ball line itu touch sih itu kerjanya, foul airi kim, point itu opponen ni lebih kini. Ini mana ada segera mai urik kaliyan, ballum racketum, ubi chulla urik kaliyan. Semua beram ini kaliya kurang sih arigi ayam, ini manusia kain, kali kain ini seramik ya, ini mana ini abhir tena. Nama kita berikan nama, nama sekali. ARIN Big lead opening up for El Walili. And positive signs for her, she's getting on to her volleys as well now. Hi, and I'm Perry Ajit. Nyan Trivandrum Scores Academy il Scores Coach ana. Kerala Police ntar kiri lana Trivandrum Scores Academy perwuti kuna dah. 
ഈ സ്കോഷ് ഗെയിമിനെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ വളരെ രസകരമായ ഒരു ഗെയിമാണിത് മറ്റുള്ള സ്പോർട്സിനെ പോലെ തന്നെ കുട്ടികൾക്കും മുതിർന്നവർക്കും ശാരീരികവും മാനസികവും ബുദ്ധിപരവുമായ ഉല്ലാസം നൽകുന്നൊരു ഗെയിമാണ് സ്കോഷ് ട്രിവാൻഡ്ര സ്കോഷ് അക്കാഡമിയിൽ ഏകദേശം ഇരുന്നൂറോളം കുട്ടികൾ പ്രാക്ടീസ് നടത്തുന്നുണ്ട് ഭാവിയിൽ ഇത് കേരളത്തിൻ്റെ എല്ലാ ഭാഗങ്ങളിലേക്കും എത്തിച്ചേർന്ന് മാക്സിമം കുട്ടികൾ ഈ സ്കോഷിലേക്ക് വരുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി ഞങ്ങൾ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു താങ്ക് യു Commentators Chris Robertson and Robert Edwards. So this is it. This is the big one. This is the final. It is the ultimate event, the ultimate title, and the ultimate prize money. And we have on court Amisha Banner in the white top, three times World Open yep. champion. Man who was world number one for nearly three years. And Hello. this fella, Rami Ashur, the hottest gun in the West. സ്പാഷിൻ്റെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസിനെ പറ്റി സംസാരിക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു ജസ്റ്റ് എ ഫ്യൂ വേർഡ്സ് എൻ്റെ അഭിപ്രായത്തിൽ ഇന്നത്തെ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ ഏറ്റവും അധികം ടൈം എഫക്റ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടും ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ലെവൽ ഇമ്പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാനും പറ്റിയ ഒരു സ്പോർട്ടാണ് സ്പാഷ് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഹെക്റ്റിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള അക്കാഡമിക് സ്കെഡ്യൂളും ഓൺലൈൻ ക്ലാസ്സിലേക്ക് അടങ്ങി വളരെ കുറച്ച് സമയമാണ് കുട്ടികൾക്ക് റിലാക്സ് ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിയുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അൺലൈക്ക് ഇനി എന്താ ഗെയിം സ്പാഷ് ഒരു ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് മിനിറ്റ്സ് ടു വൺ ഹവർ കളിച്ച് എയർപോർട്ട് വർക്ക്ഔട്ട് കിട്ടുന്നതാണ് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഞാൻ ക്രിക്കറ്റ് ഹോക്കി എന്നീ ഗെയിംസ് കൂടി കളിക്കുന്ന വ്യക്തിയാണ് അപ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് ഫീൽ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ലെവൽ വളരെയധികം ഇമ്പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാൻ സ്കോഷ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നു വേൾഡിലെ തന്നെ വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ബെസ്റ്റ് ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ഗെയിമാണ് സ്കോഷ് അതേപോലെ ഇന്നത്തെ തലമുറയ്ക്ക് വളരെ ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ തന്നെ ഹാർട്ട് ഡിസീസ് ജൂനാൽ ഡയബറ്റിസ് അതായ രോഗങ്ങൾ കണ്ടുവരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഇതൊക്കെ വളരെ വ്യായാമത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു ന്യൂനത മൂലമാണ് ഇത് കൂടുതലായിട്ടും വരുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ സ്കോഷ് പോലുള്ള ഗെയിംസ് നിർബന്ധമായും It does also make me very happy to tell you that the audience shirt filled the venue to capacity, beyond capacity, and still they're outside listening to the score. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? The World Open sort of deserves that, that type of audience and that type of sort of clamor to be involved. Yeah, it's been a show in every sense of the word and we must never lose sight of the fact that the star of the show are the players and here we have them doing what they do so well that's four in a row now for the young egyptian important that amir gains a little bit of control back here and so far <coughs> ഇത് ജോൺ ജിമ്മി വെള്ളാനിക്കാരൻ ഫോമർ നാഷണൽ ഗെയിംസ് കേരള സ്റ്റേറ്റ് പ്ലെയർ ഫോമർ കേരള നമ്പർ വൺ സീറ്റ്ഗറിയിൽ നമ്പർ സെവൻ സീറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യ കുറച്ച് സമയം കൊണ്ട് മാക്സിമം എഫേർട്ട് നമുക്ക് കൊടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു ഗെയിമാണ് അതായത് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് എറോബിക്സ് നമ്മൾ നാല് കോർണറിലും ഏറ്റവും മാക്സിമം എഫേർട്ട് നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യണം ഞാൻ ഒരുപാട് ഗെയിംസ് കളിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ക്രിക്കറ്റ് ഫുട്ബോൾ ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് നോർമൽ ഇന്ത്യൻ പക്ഷേ ഇതിൽ എനിക്ക് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ട ഒരു കളി സ്ക്വാഷ് കാരണം ഇതിൻ്റെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ലത് കുറച്ച് സമയം കൊണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ എഫേർട്ട് നമുക്ക് പിന്നെ ഞാൻ പിള്ളേരോട് പറയുന്നത് എന്താ വെച്ചാൽ ഇത് കാണുമ്പോൾ ചിലപ്പം ഇതൊരു ഭയങ്കര ഗെയിമാണെന്നൊക്കെ തോന്നും ബട്ട് നമ്മളിതിൽ കളിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഞാൻ ഓർക്കു പറയുന്നു ഈ ഈ ഗെയിമിൽ നിന്ന് വേറെ ഗെയിമിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ പോകുന്നുണ്ട് കാരണം ഇത് അത്ര ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഗെയിമാണ് നമ്മുടെ എഫേർട്ട് ഇതിന് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് കാര്യമാണ് സോ പ്ലേസ് ബാഡ് സ്റ്റേ Well, obviously that will be a problem if he, if he takes this respect level 
too far because at the end of the day it is a contest and it's a World Open final and if he doesn't display his, his best squash he will not win. Can't see I am Shalu Bijan from Ernaglu. I've been playing squash since uh, 2015. Uh, I'm a fitness trainer. Uh, after getting into squash, I feel squash is a really interesting game, very challenging and it really improves your fitness. Thanks. It's actually quite a tame start really for me, Robert. I thought it would be a little <coughs> bit more explosive with the movement. Absolutely. It's the final everybody wanted. Well, certainly everybody in this part of the world. Hi, I am Pran, studying Mechanical Engineering at Mar Basilius College of Engineering. I am 21 years old and have been playing squash for 5 years. My SRFI ranking is 47 in India under the men's category. I've been happy with it in my day. <laughs> oh, that's a yeah. poor error. That's down. Hello, I am Veshma. I am 19 years old and I am a student at All Saints College, Trivandrum. I have been playing squash since I was 17. And my I name is Elvisani. I am 15 years old. I am studying in Christnagar Central School, Kavadia, Trivandrum. I started playing squash when I was 13. Hi, my name is Elna Sanal and I am 15 years old and I am studying in Christnagar Central School, Kavadia, Trivandrum. I started playing squash. Hi, Namaskaram. I am Ria Mary Jos. I am Sarvode Vidalia Nalanjara School. I am going to play in the 8th and I am going to play in the 8th and I am going to play in the 8th and I am Hello, I am Gautam Arda Sanal. Nan Sri Sri Devisangar Vidya Mandarle Patanglas Vidyartiana. Nan Padimunam the Vaisil Squash Likan Dorangi. Hi, I am Sudan Patla. I am studying in Saraswati Vidyalaya. I have been playing squash for the past three years. My name is Omkar Vinod and I have been playing squash for the past four years. Nan Alfi Nasrat, Technical Air Secondary School, Plus One Padigino, Nan Pandarana Vaisa Mudalana, Squash Kalikinada. Namaskaram, Nan Alina Nasrat. Nan Patam Kendra Diaretil Etang Lassil Padikino, Nan Padana Vice Model Squash Kalikino, any case squash Vadare Adigam Ishta Molar Game on a Hi, I am Sita. I am starting in the School of the Good Shepherd and currently now I am the 11th grade. I start playing squash at the age of 13 and start going for national tournaments from the age 14. My Hi, I am Subhadra Nair and I am 17 years old. I am a student at Saraswati Vidyalaya studying in 12th grade. I have been playing squash since the past five years. My name is Nikita. I am studying in 10th standard in Christ in the school. I started playing squash. Hello friends. My name is Krish Manu. I am studying in class 4. I Kendra Vidyalaya Patam. I have been playing squash for three years. Hi everyone. I am Subhadra K. Soni. I am in class 10. I am a trainee at National Game Squash Center Trivandrum. For me, Squash is more than just a game. It's, it's, it defines who I am. It's my passion. Thank you. Namaskaram friends. In the period of Agash Bias, Chrysler School, I am in the Kerala Squash Championship, I am in the under level category. Squash is the part of my life. I love squash. Hi, I am Rezin Jaj. Squash changed my perspective of life. It taught me how to raise myself from failures and to work hard for my victories. Squash is a successful sport all over the world. It's played in every corner of the globe. All five continents have produced the world champion. I'm one of them. And I'm another. To be a champion in squash, you need power and strength, skill, mental toughness, Supreme fitness and strategy. It's also one of the world's healthiest sports. And great for teaching young people about tactics and movements. In squash, we embrace change. We embrace innovation. In court technology and broadcasting bringing spectators and viewers closer to the heart of the action. To experience every facet of the game. And one of the best things about squash, it can be played in the most amazing locations. With just one all-glass show court. 
and as few as 32 players required to make an international tournament. Each playing with courage, passion and a burning desire to be the best they can be. What would it mean to play at the Olympic Games? Everything. Absolutely everything. Let's squash my teeth. Hi, my name is Krishan Jaipal Singh. I'm the head coach for the state of Kerala squash. I've been playing squash since 2004 and I've played various national and state championships. Squash is an individual sport played amongst two people. It's a best of five format with 11 points in a game. So the player who wins three games first wins a match. It's a very fast-paced sport and you get an average of five to six seconds rest between a point. So it's, it's a very fast-paced sport, it's a very strenuous sport and it also keeps you very fit and very active. I would urge all young players to definitely try their hand out at this sport because it, it really keeps you fit. It has a very big mental toughness aspect of the sport that's there which helps you in pressure situations even in life it helps you build hand-eye coordination your mobility skills your your think your perception skills and your actions basically how you're gonna handle certain situations these this game really helps in all of that because you're playing with the opponent on the same part of the court it's not like tennis where you're playing on the opposite ends you're playing in the same space so it's a lot of mental games it's a lot of planning and, and it's a very, very fun sport. So our head federation or the Indian Federation is known as the Squash Racket Federation of India. It governs all the squashing activities, the rankings, the tournaments, etc. in India. Our state bodies are respectively the state names. So our Kerala body is called the Kerala Squash Racket Association. I would definitely request everyone to try their hand out in squash because it's really really fun and you can play it at whatever age. Thank you. Nin explains the rules of squash. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponents. Squash is played indoors on a court with these measurements for singles and is slightly wider for doubles. This is the bottom line, commonly referred to as the tin, and the ball cannot be hit below this line. The lines of the court indicate the area of play, and any ball leaving this area is considered to be out. Players play with rackets and different grades of ball depending on their ability. The game starts with the player serving the ball. To serve, a player must have at least one foot in the service box. The ball must be hit between the service line and the outline, and the ball must land in the opposite corner for a serve to be legal. In squash, you have to play the ball by hitting it onto the front wall. The ball may hit any of the walls, but you are only allowed to let the ball bounce on the floor once. If you let the ball bounce on the floor twice, you lose a point. The idea of the game is to make it difficult or impossible for your opponent to play a good shot back, or to force an error out of your opponent. 
You also win a point if your opponent hits the ball out of the area of play. Once you play a shot, you must get out of the way of the ball and get out of the way of your opponent. If you don't get out of the way, the opponent is awarded a point. This is known as a stroke. If you tried to get out of the way but couldn't, this is known as a let and the point is replayed again. A common strategy of squash is to dominate the T-zone. This is the intersection of lines in the middle of the court. When playing a ball, it's advantageous to get yourself to the tee, as it gives you the best chance of playing the next shot. Squash players are extremely agile, and elite players can cover all four corners of the court with minimal movement. Once you win a point, you get the next serve, and the whole process begins again. This is known as a rally. A game is won when a player scores 11 points and is 2 points clear of the opponent. If the scores are 10-10 for example, they keep playing until one person is 2 points clear. Squash is usually played to the best of 5 games. Whoever wins 3 games first, wins. Well, Shabini is on fire here. She's steamrolling her way through this first game, just as she did against El Tayeb yesterday. Hi, Namaskaram. My name is Shafi. I'm a coach of Squash Academy. I'm going to tell you about this. 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 अदूपोले ये कोटेल कुछ लाइन से लगे होंडे, बॉल लाइन ले टच चीज़ इधर करी नल, फाउल आए रीगी, पॉइंट ओपन इन ले फिक्की नची, इधर वाले ऐसेरे माये एक कलियाँ हैं, बॉलम रैकेट टू उबेर चुल्ला एक कलियाँ हैं, इल्ला बिरम ये कलिये कुछ चारी आने, इधर मनसिला कहने, काली कहने स्त्रमिकिया Anda bersanar, yang terbaru Scotch Academy lekau cakap, Scotch Racket Game, logat leh ni ada number one healthiest game mana Scotch. Saya rasa itu perlu banyak agam perjalanan ni beru. Racket tim bola mewah gitu, nahl cuburi kalau perlu kalau kita ni indoor game mana Scotch. Terbaru Scotch Academy, saya rasa polis ni game lain perlu cuci orang ni. Ia iru orang orang kuttigal practice sedih beri no. Saya rasa leh ni. Perdana skorsha kalami yang ane, terbaru skorsha kalami. Elain skorsha ni korang cikur ada riga, practice sih riga, fitness keep sih riga, enjoy riga. Big lead opening up for Elwilili. And positive signs for her, she's getting on to her volleys as well now. Hi. Anda perih, Ajit. Jangan terbang atas kosa kada mil, kos kos jangan. Kerala polis ini kiri lalane terbang atas kosa kada mil perlu tukun ada. Ia kos game ini kerjus beri yang anggeli. Walau rare segera mai urug game mana itu. Matulah sports ini pola dene. Kutegal kum mudah na urukum. Sari dekum, manusi dekum, budhi baru maaya. Ulas nalgun uru game mana kos. Rani ma'am. Terbang atas kosa kada mil. Egera siru nor orang kutegal practice nartun nonda. Bahagian itu kelihatan dek, semua bahagian lekum, itu cerita mana maksimum kutegal itu skos lekuk berjalan dengan ini, jangal angkiri kuno. Thank you. Terus. Oh, well again. Elwilili is sending El Shabini to. We join commentators Chris Robertson and Robert Edwards. So this is it. This is the big one. This is the final. It is the ultimate event, the ultimate title, and the ultimate prize money. And we have on court Amisha Banner in the white top, three times World Open champion. Man who was world number one for nearly three years. This fella, Grammy Ashur, the hottest man in the West. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. 
the great dignitaries and all the people in this webinar to this mega olympic day show so first of all a grand welcome to each and everyone to this conclave in olympic day celebration by kerala squash rackets association first of all i would like to welcome mr sarosh p abraham the president of the kerala squash rackets association a few words about him because apart from his this very popular person he is a very popular personality who is the administrator and executive director of the st mary's group of institutions kerala since 1984 now secretary of the care so secretary of the society managing the schools and his efforts was well honored with the kerala business visionary award 2016 for his extra ordinary exemplary outstanding contributions in the field of education and it was honored by the indo american press club for contributing in the field of education it was in the year 2017 october we welcome you sir to this meeting now let me invite sri manoj ibrahim ips who is who holds the post of the additional director general of police if you the, the best thing we have to say because uh, in, the, in this special day is that manoj sir is the honorary chairman of the kerala squash rackets association and uh, since in inception next i would like to welcome and moreover I think. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So, sorry for the interruption. That's why I, there was some net problem. So, so I just I just started as, uh, to speak as few words about Mr. Manager Graham sir, and the, and in that way some problems issue. So, a few words about him because. He is the key architect, key architect who has established the Kerala Squash Academy in 2015, and after the 35th National Games, which was held in Trivandrum, Manoj has played a great role in development of this, the Squash Rackets Association and the Squash in Kerala. Because with his efforts, he he had a very keen role in developing a squash, uh, sport uh, that means a squash court, a, in a east district of Kerala. and he has a very great aim of developing more squash courts and uh, squash development all over in the kerala and he he has when, whenever we speaks with him he has a great aim of uh, developing people and cherishing the child children uh, to this in to this sports and i must thank the significant initiative of manoj sir the efforts to establish the sport uh, sports squash in among the people and the children in kerala even in his busy schedule he gives key pointers and the guidance to kerala squash association help us to lay out a road map the future of squash in kerala i uh, with the kerala squash rackets association is honored to have you here sir and uh, next i would like to welcome mr cyrus ponja who is a secretary general of srfi and squash rackets as federation of india which is a national federation for squash in india welcome you sir he is and uh, he is a dronacharya award winner for the year 2005 and the former indian coach and he has obtained wsf level 3 coaching certificate and coached players both the juniors and junior squash and senior circuits and he has also won the coach of the year from the asian squash federation and award he has won the award 6 times So, so we are very happy to welcome you to this webinar. Thank you very much. And, and now I would like I am most happy to welcome Sri Madhurani Mohan Das. She is the vice president of the Kerala Squash Rackets Association, and she is a well-known personality and a. Business woman, and she is the is she is the board 
of she is on the board of the number of companies involved in the areas of hoteleries plantations and the entertainment industry she is responsible for the diversification group into areas such as pharmaceuticals and education she has helped the association on various projects activities and we thank for her dedicated support for the sports of squash in kerala i welcome on behalf of the kerala rackets association madam to this group to this webinar next i would extend the warm welcome to mr krishan jaypal singh he is a professional squash player and a level 2 certified squash coach he has a coach for the nepal national team for the south asian games 2019 he has also the head coach for the state of kerala he has made the squash players of kerala to be in touch and competitive in the national venue we welcome mr krishan jaypal singh to this webinar thank you next i would like to welcome on behalf of this association dr saumya sanadan she is a post graduate in applied psychology along with a bachelor's and master's degree in music she is currently pursuing a doctorate in music from the kerala university she started her career as a tabalist during and now she owns a studio at, named nilambari music studio at trivandrum and in his in between her busy schedules she is taking part in this webinar and the association heart warm heartedly welcome saumya sanadanan dr saumya sanadanan to this webinar thank you so much now i would like to extend my warm welcome on behalf of the kerala squash rackets association to all the players coaches sports enthusiasts all over and across kerala and once again i welcome and wish all the dignitaries and participants in this webinar a happy olympics day thank you thank you sir I call upon Mr. Saroj P. Abraham, President, Kerala Squash Racket Association, to give the introduction speech. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Hello, everyone. A very warm greetings to each and every one of you present here on behalf of uh, Kerala. squash racket association so this is indeed a very trying times for all of us but in spite of all the uh, constraints and difficulties uh, we have managed to get together for this meeting which is so important today because the entire country the entire world is celebrating olympic day and indeed kerala too is fervently going after the celebrations in a very big way by including all the associations and all the uh paraphernalia concerning the kerala olympic uh, associations now i would like to especially thank uh, all the student fraternity uh, participating uh, from different schools all across uh, our state in from various districts because as you know even today we have the online classes and uh, uh they have managed to join in uh during their off time in spite of today being a working day and uh, i am very much thankful for for all of them to all of them and all the uh squash enthusiasts players uh who have been who are looking forward to the development of uh, sport this particular sport which is very very new and fresh uh, for the state of kerala so we are actually in a very difficult time but again we look forward in a very positive manner uh, because we are focusing primarily on the development 
of health as well as the development of sport uh, as a whole especially promotion of uh, squash in particular uh, in the state of kerala and uh, everyone uh, uh, interested in this uh, particular field has come together uh, wanting to do some bit uh, uh, for the growth of this particular sport because you know there is always uh, uh, a string attached to squash uh, that some people believe that it's a very expensive sport uh, which it is not actually and uh, we are trying to break down that myth that this is something very expensive and only the very elite can take part or can be a part of this uh, we are showing proofs and examples that very youngsters from every strata of society are coming forward uh, to play this sport which is gaining momentum uh, in this part of the world as well and uh, to enable the growth and development of uh, squash in the state of kerala we are getting together a group a group of people who are much passionate about this particular sport and uh, i am very much glad to tell you that there are there is a lot of enthusiasm there is a lot of keen interest uh, shown by a lot of people though we are all from different walks of life we would like to contribute in our own way for the growth of a particular game or a sport uh, in our state so that lot of youngsters get to take up the sport in a very big way and uh, though it is growing slowly we need to you know move much much forward and a lot needs to be done and um, for that you know we have a lot of people to thank for especially uh, we have our uh, national chief ceo of uh, the uh, sports uh, uh racket federation of india chief is here with us uh, sri cyrus punja we are uh, we are very much grateful to you sir for for your uh, presence here this afternoon and uh, he is himself is a uh, you know inspiration for all of us because you know he is a highly profiled person as far as this sport is concerned and him being at the helm uh, and it gives us inspiration uh, to you know push forward uh, to bring in lot of youngsters uh, to our uh, uh, to the forefront of squash in kerala uh, and uh, for that we have a team of people uh, amongst us at the from right from the district levels but the very inspiration for us to uh, uh, thrive forward is none other than uh, dg uh, adgp Manoj Abraham, IPS, who has been a source of inspiration and uh, motivation for each and every one of us, and it is his, uh, you know, idea and uh, as well as vision uh, to get across the sport in, in to each and every remote corner of our small state. And our aim and objective is at least to find initially at least to find one uh, squash playing center in each district of Kerala. for which we are striving forward and uh, that is our aim and objective and uh, anish our secretary anish mathu is our uh, secretary general for the state of kerala uh, is is the chief for uh, ksra he looks soft he is the general secretary and uh, he is also a dynamic person and uh, that's the reason why you know i uh, even though i am a new person to this organization i i understood that uh, there are a lot of enthusiasts with keen interest to develop this particular sport and uh, i thought of doing my little bit whatever in what whatever way i can so that has been uh, the main uh, reason for me to be a part of this organization and uh, we all know that you know squash is a game which needs a lot of um, high endurance and stamina and uh, that improves the uh, physical capacity of a person whether it's a young man or a girl you know that enables that that person to be 
uh, it, it, to be in a high, very highly fit state of uh, health and uh, mind. And uh, that is one particular reason why uh, we thought uh, this is something um, that we should be looking forward to and uh, encourage a lot of youngsters to come forward. Especially, we have asked a lot of schools to join up uh, in, into such programs. And uh, I'm sure that uh, we have at present even watching us via uh, YouTube, live YouTube, uh, a lot of schools, children from each and every corner of the state watching our program. So that you know, this becomes some sort of an inspiration for uh, school children as well. So we need to bring in uh, children to get interested at the very uh, young age so that you know our target would be school children but in particular of all category what whichever schools that they are state schools cbc schools and icc schools in kerala so we uh, plan to you know introduce the sport uh, in a very interesting manner so that you know we give them a lot of encouragement through infrastructure as well as training and uh, as well as a lot of uh, programs through uh, through coaches, we, we need to develop coaches, especially now we have uh, Sri Krishna Jaipal also here. Krishna Jaipal Singh is a, uh, in a very senior player as well as the country is concerned. He is a uh, level two coach as well. And, you know, people like him inspire, uh, you know, uh, those who are after this particular sport in, in our state of Kerala. So though this is a very humble beginning and small beginning, and it's always good that we start small and then you know go into uh, something larger rather than you know going uh, from middle or uh, getting into the act. So you know we have also a lot of people to thank for. I think um, Rani Ma'am, Rani Mohandas Ma'am, you know, is somebody who is very much uh, passionate about uh, the sport, and she has been with us for. A, quite some time and you know she's been uh, coming forward uh, in every way possible to help the sport and i hope you know this team uh, you know can inspire uh, people in every district uh, coaches and whatever they need to get done i think we are there for them to uh, push forward in each and every aspect of uh, promotion of uh, squash in the state so i thank each and every one of you for being here for being a part of this uh, event here uh, today afternoon. I thank especially the district committees also for having come forward today afternoon in spite of the flying times that we are all in and uh, you know the fears are still there about a third wave and in spite of all this you know we still look positive and we still need to be in a very uh, strong and positive state of mind uh, to look forward to the growth and development of sport, especially the squash here in Kerala. And uh, we should, I think, all pledge uh, very in a very positive and genuine manner uh, so that this sport gets, uh, it should get its due in the state of Kerala. And uh, I wish each and every one of you the very best and all the very best to the organizers of this uh, meeting, especially Rakesh, who has been in a striving force, he's been uh, behind our backs all the time. Rakesh wouldn't let any string go untagged, so he's after each and every one of us. Uh, uh, you know, he, whatever time available, time is available. You now he's behind uh, each and every one of us. So that all this gives a very positive vibe to each and every one of us. So that uh, squash in Kerala would definitely have a very promising future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Since Manoj Abraham, sir, is in another meeting, he will deliver his words as he joins. I welcome Mr. Cyrus Ponza, Secretary General, Squash Rackets Federation of India, to present the key notes. Hi, good afternoon all. And firstly, thank you very much for having me here. It's an absolute pleasure to be here uh, with, with all of you. So thank you, President Abraham and your committee for uh, having me over here. I'll just share my screen. Please 
let me know once you can see the screen. Yes, we can see it, Paris. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. So, you know, I feel a lot, a lot of you all know about squash, some uh, not so much. So I'll just give you a little bit uh, of the history about squash and we can chat on that later. So squash was started primarily at Harrow in England. Uh, there are talks of whether it was in a school or whether it was in a prison, but uh, we, we are fortunate we have only four walls so we could play in, in that sort of uh, infrastructure. Uh, so that's how it was in the days gone by. And today we have the all glass courts which can be put in you know, multiple arenas into open areas. Uh, I'll show you a few pictures of that as well later on. So just very simple uh, details about squash are coming up on your screen. It is, it's a fabulous sport, not just because uh, I play it, but uh, it is the world's healthiest sport. Forbes magazine uh, did declare squash as the healthiest sport because we can burn <clears throat> up to a thousand calories within an hour. So it's a fabulous workout. So do play squash if you are not playing squash. Obviously, it's, it, it's a world sport. It's uh, played across the world from the Americas to Europe to Africa to Asia and Oceania. Uh, we have got over a hundred odd countries which are very, very active in squash. So we are truly a global sport. Uh, the professional body is the Professional Squash Association, which they run a program for all professional squash players. It's interesting to note that uh, there have been world championship, world champions from all five continents. So major events held in across the world also are your men's and women's team championships, both for juniors and seniors. And we also have a master's championship. So these are a few of the iconic locations uh, which squash has been played at, uh, obviously in open air theaters, in shopping malls like we have done in uh, Chennai as well. And the picture you can see at the bottom is at the Giza pyramids in Egypt. So we can actually take our sport uh, and, you know, show it to the rest of the world across the world in all these different areas. For those of you all who have, okay, this, this is another picture uh, in, in Hargada, which is also uh, in Egypt, where it's a small little island where they play squash. It's, it's a sport which has a lot of speed. You need to have determination to run, pick up the ball and play. Uh, you've got to be very flexible and agile. So these are just a few of the traits for squash uh, players. With regard to uh, the Indians' performances, uh, we have been doing exceedingly well from the 2014 edition onwards. So we've been winning medals both at the Asian Games and the Commonwealth Games. Uh, at the Asian Games in 2014, we did win a gold medal in the men's team event. And at the 2014 Commonwealth Games, uh, our two uh, ladies, uh, Joshna Chinappa and Deepika Palikal, won gold medals in the doubles event, uh, Commonwealth Games. So we have been doing well in these major games and we certainly hope to do a lot more. This is just giving you a little idea of compared to all sports, uh, how squash has uh, done. This is at the Commonwealth Games. And here at the Asian Games. Important to note at the 2018 Asian Games, from all the individual sports, uh, squash got the most medals. 
So that is something which is uh, very heartening for our sport. We've got uh, three iconic stars who have, over the last two decades, who've really done well for Indian squash. It's Saurav Ghoshal, a few of his details over here. All three of our players have ranked uh, top 10 in the world. That's, that's their career high. We certainly hope that one of them would get into single digits uh, very, very soon. But all of them have been doing well. Uh, next year is a very big year for us where we have the 2022 Asian Games and Commonwealth Games again. Hopefully, uh, this pandemic will be uh, behind us or at least uh, less in uh, strength so we can actually play it. Unfortunately, squash is not an Olympic sport. It's something that uh, we have all tried. Uh, the World Squash Federation has put in a lot of effort, but as you can all see, we are certainly a great match uh, to be at the Olympics. So thank you very much. If you have any questions or you want to talk, if, if either now or later, depending at uh, whatever is needed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Friends. Thank you, sir. I invite Mr. Krishan Jaipal Singh, professional player and level two uh, coach, to talk about the beautiful game of sport and its coaching experience. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and members of this esteemed panel. I hope everyone is keeping safe and well in these uncertain times. For those of you all who don't know me, my name is Krishan Jaipal Singh. I have been certified as a level two squash coach by the World Squash Federation. And I've been playing squash for the past 16 years. So when people ask what squash is, because squash is not as common as a sport and not many people know about it. So if I want to put squash in a layman's term, squash is a racket and ball sport played by two players in a four walled court with a small hollow rubber ball. So according to 2013 Forbes report, squash is the healthiest sport to play. Not only is it just physical, but there's a lot of mental toughness aspect that is related to the sport as well. People think that squash, when you look at it, when you see the top players playing, like say Ali Farag or Mohammed Sharbagi, the game looks so easy and, and it seems like anyone can just get into the court and perform these shots that they're doing because they make it so, seem so easy and effortless. But the funny part is that once you get into the court and you try and do the things that those people are doing, you understand how difficult and how complex the sport actually is. So this is an open skill sport, which there's no particular age that you need to develop. You can develop this through any age that you are. You might be six years old. You might be 40 years old. There's no age limit to when you can pick up the sport or when you can start playing the sport. Yes, if you want to play professional, it is advisable that you get into the sport at an earlier age. But there are no limitations as when you can start playing the sport. So squash for me has taught me a lot throughout my life. It has helped, helped me get this discipline of waking up early, working out, and going for squash every single day of my life. So this is not something that someone forces you to do or no one is holding a whip to you to say that you have to go there, go play. It's just a feeling that comes from inside because being an individual sport, your merits will be seen on court. If you falter up, it'll be seen on court. So it's not like a team sport where you can Actually, suppose if you have a bad day, your other team members can sort of lift you up and, and carry your burden for you. So at the end of the day, it's all on you, on how you have trained, on how you have equipped yourselves with the right skill sets, with the right mindset to sort of overcome and, and beat your opponent on that particular day. It requires a very, very high level of fitness and 
and you have to be really really tough especially when you're playing on the professional circuit as a pro player i mean competing on tour with a lot of top professionals is a very tiring and it's a very sort of lonely profession if you could say so because you're spending so much time alone focusing on yourselves on on how you can actually better yourselves is that you cut off from most other things and sacrifice few things in life like say partying or going out which most of the other people are doing in your age but all that has a has a huge benefit for you as a person because it will see that that you're making these small sacrifices to achieve something which is larger than than what what these small little parties or other things which will give you a little validation for a little period of time as compared to when you achieve something on court winning a tournament that feeling is is nothing like anything else so in kerala squash has started recently i think in 2015 they had built the courts near the chandra shekhar nair stadium and within these couple of years that i have been coaching over there i've seen a vast improvement in the in the children that have been training under me and also it's not just about the fact that they're playing better squash but the fact that they've i've seen changes in their whole personality like from being either one of those arrogant cool kids who would want to answer back i've seen people changing around and actually sort of mending their ways and becoming better people and trying to better themselves because normally kids go by a certain way that they've been told like if a teacher says that you're talkative they go about of the perspective that they are talkative and not actually challenging those things about themselves like why am i talkative or how can i be better at this particular thing so i think it's very important for coaches or people who are who are working with children to try and introspect to try and ask them questions rather than being sort of a very rigid and 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 a hard person saying you have to do it this way or that way rather try and talk to them make them understand things differently and and definitely you can see that sport has helped them a big way okay so So there are a few of our top Indian players who are in the top hundreds. As uh, Cyrus sir has already mentioned, Saurav Goshal is currently India number thirteen. Then we have Mahesh Mangokar, who's India number forty-eight. Vikram Malhotra, India no- world number forty-nine. Sorry, Ramit Tandon and Aditya Jagtap. In the women's, we have Joshna Chinappa, who's world number eleven. Sunaina Kuruvilla, who's world number seventy-three. Tanvi Khanna, who's world number 97 in the juniors we have a girl who came second in the british junior open in under in the under 13 anahat singh so as you can see sport squash has grown a lot in our country and if you look at the individual rankings of our players amongst the top 100 in the world we already have quite a few players that are there in the top 100 as in my personal experience over these past 10 years i've seen squash grow phenomenally phenomenally thanks to the srfi and cyrus poncha they've done great work in trying to sort of expand squash to tier 2 tier 3 cities where there's where people don't have an idea about squash they've partnered up with hcl which has helped in bringing a lot of psa tournaments also into india giving our local players an opportunity to come up in the world rankings apart from that squash also helps to get admission for a lot of lot of our squash players are top 1 2 3 4 have all gotten admission into the ivy league colleges of the us which is also great for aspiring students who want to go and study in the us or to get into top colleges squash i think is is one way which you can actually get in fairly easy as compared to the other sports with this i would like to thank thank you all and i would like to 
to, to tell people who haven't tried the sport to, to, to pick up a racket and just give it a hand and see how you feel. I'm sure you would definitely play on the weekends or pick it up as much as you could. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I welcome our special guest, Dr. Soumya Sanatanan, to give her speech. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Rani Emma and uh, for inviting me here. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks to all the organizers. Uh, frankly speaking, I'm a person who has nothing to do with sports, but um, I do have a lot of respect to people into sports and sports persons because it takes a lot of you know a, a discipline and perseverance to reach somewhere. And uh, uh, again, actually, after hearing so much about squash, uh, actually, I have I haven't tried the game yet, so I'm hoping that uh, Raniyama will invite me <laughs> uh, one day, and maybe we can. We, uh, I'll get to meet uh, some of you there. My my best wishes to all of you, and uh, uh, I don't. I have nothing more to speak, so I'll just uh, I'll sing a song and uh, wind up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Soumya. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, since Mr. Manoj Abraham, I please couldn't join this meeting. He has conveyed a message of wishes for Olympic Day and best wishes to the squash players of the state and hope the sport will gain more popularity. Next, I call upon Sidhan Patil and Subhadra K. Soni to give out their thoughts about the game of squash. <coughs> Uh, good afternoon. I am Sudan Patel. I'm a grade 12 student at Saraswati Vidyalaya uh, and I've been playing squash for the past four and a half years and I'm currently ranked 12 in the boys under 17 category in India. Uh, what made me to cling on to the sport was the thrill that it provided. Squash is a very fast-paced game and um, it requires us to be on our toes throughout the course of the game and make numerous uh, split second decisions and it was this feature of the sport that pulled me towards it. Uh, since most of the uh, tournaments happen outside of Kerala, like in Chennai, uh, Delhi, Mumbai or in Jaipur, I have come across people from um, different parts of the country and from different backgrounds and spending time with them and getting to know them has helped me grow as an individual. 
Uh, squash has also taught me important life principles like that of never giving up and fighting till the end, even when the odds are against us. And uh, like Christian sir said, squash demands a high mental strength and it has taught me how important our mindset is and um, how important our mindset is and uh, like how we should be in control of our mind. And I would say that squash has helped me academically, ad academically as well. Like after training, I get only a few hours for my studies. So I make sure that I use the time effectively and efficiently. Um, and I hope the situation of this pandemic gets better and these sport enthusiasts can get back on the court. Thank you. Very good. Very good, Siddhant. Very good. Wonderful. That's wonderful to hear. Really, really, sir. Thank you, sir. So, so, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Subhadra Kesodi, and I play in girls under 17 now. So, squash for me is basically it is like uh, it is a part of me that I can't separate myself from. Squash have taught me a various things. I mean, it it have it has changed my life completely. Like I was. A very arrogant. I was a very arrogant person before I was uh, before I was starting any sports. But when I hooked up to it, it changed the perspective of my life. Uh, it have taught me many things that, and it have squash. Oh. Uh, can I continue? Mm -hmm. Please, please, please continue. continue. So squash basically it have uh, taught me that even if life have challenges that we should fight back and that uh, squash basically as Christian sir said it uh, squash is basically like we should use our mental power more than physical I think yeah and I think I don't have much to speak about it that's it very well done very well done Subhadra all the best congratulations thank you sir. Very good, very good, very good. Thank you. Last but not the least, I would like to invite Ms. Rani Mohandas, Vice President, Kerala Squash Racket Association, to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Lovely to see you all. You know, in such a depressing, uh, you know, period. It's uh, so lovely to see all of you. And uh, God bless us all to, you know, uh, overcome this uh, bad times. You know, God bless us all. Okay, coming back to my uh, duty. Thank you so much, uh, Saru, Cyrus Pujaji. And uh, it is lovely hearing you. And uh, once again, I have fallen in love with Squash, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, hearing your uh, uh, description about the whole thing. I'm actually, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I have uh, uh, been playing badminton since uh, my 30, 30, I started from my 30 years. I was, till then, I was not a person who even, walk because my parents were so protective about me and uh, you know they wouldn't let me even walk on the road that was my life but fortunately my husband who is a total sports sports enthusiast he encouraged me to play start playing because he said uh, you know uh, and uh, before that i should tell you uh, by 30 uh, i finished my uh, great uh, challenge in my life, delivering five boys. I am a mother of five, and uh, by uh, 30, I finished that. And then only I started playing sports. And as they grew up, they also started taking up each sport. Uh, but uh, like uh, the, you know, conventional thing, they are uh, doctors, lawyers, 
uh, you know, uh, and uh, engineers, they all had to do their professional part of it, so they couldn't pursue in this thing. But let me tell you how a sport changed a person. I am the best example. I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but you know, to tell, uh, to let know the world, because that badminton, see in, in okay, India, especially in Kerala, there are only a few sports, either shuttle or uh, tennis or uh, 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 football, volleyball, that all comes in the same category, and cricket, of course. This uh, sweetest game, squash, it is not very known to our people here. And I am uh, telling you, sir, Cyrus G, please do, uh, you know, do something about it. Either even you can upload a video on YouTube about squash because most of the people are not aware of it. In the sports industry, they know, but they, uh, especially the trend is most of the children, they are on to uh, shuttle badminton. So uh, very few pe uh, people only, uh, you know, take up uh, squash. But th this is one of the loveliest games. Since I became the president of this and all that, my... Uh, uh, daughter-in-law and uh, my grandchildren, they have also, uh, you know, started taking up this uh, thing and they are getting trained uh, under our uh, dear coach here. And um, Sarosh ji, um, uh, Anish and uh, Rakesh, they have been all so supportive of me, me and uh, Saumya. She is a daughter and uh, let me tell you, I have five boys, but... Uh, uh, I am a, a global mother in the sense I have lovely daughters like Saumya at the, you know, just at the drop of a hat, I'll, uh, I'll call her and I'll tell her, see, you be there. Uh, I, I need something from you. You sing for them. You uh, do something. You know, luckily, uh, uh, so, uh, daughters like Saumya and sons like Rakesh, uh, my life, God has really, really uh, given me such lovely children. And uh, uh, Sarojji and Anish again, uh, I'm telling you, it was uh, it was all very very uh, really worthwhile session. I'm telling you, and Cyrus G, please uh, don't forget us, and please do uh, take up some initiatives to you know spread this lovely sport uh, in 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 our small part of the town and in Kerala as such. Uh, please do, and uh, please all of you, thank you so much. Uh, uh, the lovely child who is comparing also, and everybody, love you all, God bless us all. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. You. Anish Mahathir could not participate in this meeting due to some personal inconvenience. I thank you for making this webinar a success. Thank you all for joining the webinar. To all the viewers on YouTube and Facebook live pages, Wishing you all a happy Olympic Day from Kerala Squash Rugby Association. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless us all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.